Hi, I'm Monte, and welcome to the next exciting episode of Coke and Strippers, where you always get the full Monte. Anyway, today we've got a new package, and I want to check it out. Fresh from the China. Okay, what do we have here? No, not on the desk. Your guess is as good as mine. In the package. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, very pretty. Very pretty. This is a Sterling engine. I found it on the internet. I'll put the link down below in case you want to pick one of them up. But today, we get to answer your lifelong question. Will a Sterling engine power an Arduino? Oh, I missed a couple of pieces. What are these? This looks like it might be another piece of glass for when I break that one. So let's try not to break this one, get it out. And what is this? I almost didn't find this. I assume it's a candle or maybe an alcohol lamp. Oh, an alcohol lamp. Excellent. So, oh, there's an LED in there too. Wow, so they at least think it'll power this LED. What's the trick for getting that sucker out of there? Actually, what's the trick for putting all this together? Well, thank goodness we have the instructions. Oh, wait. Um, if you can read this, would you put comments down below here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, mine's not so good. Alright. Well, what do we have? We have, we have a rubber band uh, and a wick and a stopper. Alright. I can figure out what to do with that as soon as I can figure out how to get this how to get this LED out of there. That's gonna be the hard part. Um maybe oh yeah. Oh almost there we go. Ta-da! <laughs> Smarter than I look. Alright, well, let's add a little rubbing alcohol. Oh, that looks like plenty. Get our wick wet. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Pieces, parts. Shove that through there. Ah, it's hard to push with a rope. There we go. All right, probably don't need much of this wick. We'll start out with it a little short. Put it over there. Now we've got a little heat going. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. I'll let it warm up for just a second. I don't think there's anything else in here. Now that looks empty. Although if there was like other LEDs, I wouldn't even see them in all this bubble wrap, but I don't feel anything. And I'm a little concerned about why there's another piece of glass and how hard I'm gonna break it just getting it out of here. There's probably something else I'm supposed to do first, but that's the only instructions I have. Mm. Well, that should be a little heat. Let's give it a bump and see what happens. Oh, it's... Oh, oh! Wow! Wow, that's impressive. That's actually really impressive. Where's my LED? I bet this will slow it down. I wonder if it has a diet of... I guess it doesn't. Yeah, that slows it down. Do you see the LED light up there? 
I don't see the LED light up at all. Oh, look at that. Now that's weird. Why does it slow down the other direction? The other direction, that diode shouldn't conduct at all. Huh. Well, let's try some measurements while we got this thing going. While it's sliding all over the table. Um, let's look at maximum voltage. What do we get? Other than a fire, I'm going to get... So voltage, 4.8 volts. Again, that's no load. Let's see what the current is. What do you guess? A few milliamps, maybe? Just more than I expected, but still. Alright, there's milliamps. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> Slows it down. 99? 100 milliamps? That's impressive. That's that's enough. That's enough power to do something with on its own. That's that's cool. Um should grab another meter. Let's see what the voltage is. The voltage has to be nothing. Um DC voltage. At 100 milliamps, what's our voltage? Point three six volts. Point three six. So let's see. Uh, 110 milliamps, 0.36 volt is almost 0 0.04 watts. Hmm. Wow, we can just keep, we can just keep going with this. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough to power one of these. It's just not. But it's coming a lot closer than I thought. Uh, let's see. If I have a jumper here. Um, I want to check this voltage one more time at zero load. Five point four. I don't think that's a, even if it was to get that much voltage. That's not enough to smoke this thing. So let's try hooking it straight to the to the five volt pin. Let's try to keep this meter hooked up as we do it. We'll see what the voltage is to get this thing connected. Oh, I set something on fire. It is dangerous. Um, and where's my positive? It's on this side. Alright. And there's my positive. To say 4.8 volts. Here we go. Look at that. Holy smoke! And Blink is probably installed, and Blink is running. Look, it's blinking that LED. See if I can pull it up there without pulling this whole thing off the table. Can you see that green LED? Wow! Still 4.3 volts. That's cool. Again, I thought there was no way that that yeah, it came off. I thought that there was no way to get enough power out of this little thing uh, to run this straight. I'm wrong. Huh? I wonder what else we could do with this thing. <gasps> hmm. Runs for oh, this is this is hot. It's transferring the heat to this side. This is hot. We could get more power. If we cooled this better, either with a larger radiator or with ice or something. Hmm. All right, so over here we're running the we're running the Arduino. You see the lights going? Can we see the voltages? Yeah, we got the voltage about 3.8 volts as it as it comes up to speed. Let's let this uh, let's let it reach operating temperature. But I've got something else. 
on an ice cube. 4.3. All right, 4.3. Let's give this 10 seconds. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 4.4. 4.5 Can we get 4.6? We've got 4.6 4.7 We made 4.7 If you look, this cube is, already has a great big divot in it Alright, 4.6, 4.5 So, uh, this ice cube's working pretty well Let's try to be a little more scientific here. Uh, we've got a little piece of retro reflective tape. We'll put that on there. We'll light this up. Let it be heating up a little bit. And we'll grab the little digital tachometer. So now we can see what the real RPM is and look for changes that way as well. So this takes just a second to heat up. Away we go. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. We've got... How high is it going to go? 1680. All right, 1670, 1680. Now back to the ice. 1700. 1760, 1780, 1900. All right, so we can speed it up quite a bit uh, by having a bigger temperature difference between the heat over the hot side over there and the cool side over here. That's where the 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 energy is coming from. All right, and then just for fun, we'll disconnect this load over here and see what speed we can really run this thing at. Oh, 2000. Can we get any higher? 2040. That looks like that might be it. It's about as much ice as I can get on there. Don't have any dry ice at the moment. We've had a lot of fun today with the Sterling engine uh, and the 5 volt Arduino. I bet with a good super cap and a 3.3 volt Arduino, you could probably do some real work. Well, I hope you had fun with this quick little journey. I sure did. So, uh, anyway, don't forget, spend all your money on Coke and strippers. And uh, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, you know, subscribe, uh, let, let people know what's going on, particularly if you like it, all of those good things. And uh, send comments below, things you'd like to see, uh, things you'd like to talk about. I'd like to hear them. Oh yeah, alcohol all over the desk. That's a fire hazard.